Hey everyone, Joe here. Today we're doing a quick drive on 2022.24.6. This is the Tesla Vision update, which brings Tesla Vision to radar equipped cars. So since around April 2021 in the United States, uh, they started shipping cars without radar and those Teslas ran on Tesla Vision. And then in Europe, they made the transition around April to June 2022. So any new cars were running on Tesla Vision, but what this update does is it brings it to every car um, with MCU2 on newer or Hardware 3 with the upgraded repeater cameras. And what it does is it uses all eight cameras to deliver autopilot and certain safety features like forward collision warnings and emergency braking. Essentially, Tesla is now calculating the distance using machine learning and over the last two years of Tesla Vision being in use for FSD beta, etc., they've sort of nailed the distance aspect of it, and it does work quite well. But most owners are upset because through an over-the-air software update, Tesla has disabled radar, which you know is proven to be reliable, even though it does have some issues, admittedly, with phantom braking. Sometimes it sees phantom objects, like when you're going under bridges and such. It hasn't been that bad of an issue for me, uh, but Tesla Vision is awful, and not for the reason you're probably expecting, but if you, if you have a Tesla, then you probably know what's coming. So I'm gonna start driving now, and uh, we'll highlight what the issue is. So let's just get out of here. So, Let's turn down this nice straight road so the car can actually steer properly thanks to UNEC regulations. So, I'll engage tack and just slow us down to 45 miles an hour. Engage auto steer. And as you probably noticed, auto high beam has turned on. Now in the year of ownership, in my year of ownership, I've never used auto high beam because it's very slow. The issue of Tesla Vision is because there's no radar and Tesla can't validate their distance information and see as well in the dark as they could with radar, they force auto high beam on every time you engage auto steer, aka autopilot, even if you have it disabled. Even if you've never used it and choose not to use it, it's enabled by default every single time. Now, a lot of owners, as you can see, they just flash me because it doesn't turn off. It's so slow. And now it'll turn back on, and now there's another car come in. I can see it through the bushes. Clearly the Tesla can't. So let's see what happens. Still there, still on. Now it's just turned off. It makes me cringe because I have to use it, obviously, to test it. And as you can see, there's another car. Auto high beam, or high beam shouldn't even be on right now. It's still on. It's awful, it's awful. Right, so I just turned it off manually. And how that works is every time you re-engage autopilot, as I said, it turns on. If you push the stalk in, it will turn off. And now the car's speeding up because obviously I, I disengaged. It's a nightmare. So if I... Uh, Let's just come off autopilot for a sec, come back on, auto high beams on, there's a car and they've left their full beam on because they were just being blinded by me. It's awful to say the least. Um, <laughs> I'm going to leave the video as that, I'm going to do another video of just driving on autopilot without a commentary so you can see how bad it is, but Tesla need to fix this. It's awful and a lot of owners are noticing it. And it's not even the worst part. The worst part is there is such an easy solution. Matrix headlights. Since around the 2021 Model 3 refresh, the Model 3 has Matrix headlights. This car has them. Cars in the US have them. And all that Tesla have done with Matrix so far is print Tesla on the wall when you do a light show. And you know, fair enough, that's a cool little party trick. But at the end of the day, auto high beam does not work. And it's affecting real people. It's blinding people, it's causing a danger 
and it's also causing a massive, massive amount of embarrassment. I never use auto high beam, but because I'm, you know, trialing this and making a video on this, I'm leaving it on. And every single time it doesn't surprise me, it is so bad, it's painful. But I'm gonna pull over here so we can, uh, I can speak properly whilst focusing. So, essentially, that's the simple fix, is matrix lights. Why hasn't Tesla, you know, enabled them? Why aren't they functional? I recently test drove an Audi e-tron, and it was out of this world. It was so good. Every single car that was coming towards me, within a second, that section of the lights was turned off. The road was still lit up, all the pavements, the curbs, you know, the bushes, the trees, the signs, everything was lit up apart from the car. With Tesla, you're blinding them for a minimum of three seconds and it's not good enough. And they aren't improving it. It's embarrassing. So that is the easy solution really, is matrix headlights. Why can't Tesla program autopilot to keep the road lit up so autopilot's happy and then turn it off for oncoming cars so us, the driver, is happy and the oncoming cars are happy that they're not being blinded? I think that's the issue that a lot of owners are speaking up about at the moment is, you know, we didn't ask for that. Fair enough, a lot of us, you know, are interested in Tesla Vision and, you know, are interested in trialing it and stuff like that and... Well, not even trialing it, you're stuck with it. Once you've updated, that is it. So I'm gonna start driving now because I need to head back. But that's that's the most upsetting part really is, you know, we didn't choose to have Tesla vision. We didn't choose to lose radar. And they didn't even mention that forcing auto high beam on at the start of every session is a requirement. I mean, don't get me wrong. I appreciate why Tesla have done it. You know, they need to prove that losing radar and using vision is as safe as having, you know, radar. And if to do that, they need to use, matri you know, if they need to use high beam to validate that there's nothing in front of the car and, you know, ensure there's nothing there to stop danger, great. But get matrix lights working. It's the easiest solution. A lot of people are assuming it's a bug, you know, you can't turn it off, you know, it's disabled, you know, in settings, it's greyed out. It's not a bug, it's a feature, and it's something you have to put up with if you're using Tesla Vision. But it's so painful to use because Tesla have the worst headlight setup of any manufacturer. As I said, I've never used it in my year of ownership, and now it's being forced on every single time I use Autopilot. It's, um, it's really disappointing to see how badly it performs still. So I think that's the easiest solution. Matrix headlights, it's a no brainer. It's legal in the US, it's legal in Europe. Most other car manufacturers with cars in this price range have it. Why not? And why are Tesla removing matrix lights from certain trims in the US? They're quoting part shortages, but every other month there's a new news article that long range has had matrix removed, long range is now being delivered with matrix, it's removed again. Why? What's the point if all you're gonna use matrix lights for is printing Tesla on the wall? I mean, fair enough, you know, it entertains people, it's fun to show your neighbors, but at the end of the day, it doesn't work. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave it as that. Uh, if you have any comments, obviously drop them below. I'll try to reply to every comment. Like the video, all that stuff, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.